Welcome back to Slow Motion Saturdays. Today we have two fan suggestions and we're revisiting two videos from last week. Check it out. So our first viewer suggestion comes from user The Destructinator, and he asks if I can make Mario's fireballs. Well, Destructinator, I have just the thing. Good old fashioned tennis balls and gasoline, it doesn't get much easier than that. I just added about an inch of gasoline to the tennis balls, and one more important note, I soaked my leather gloves in water so they don't catch on fire. Now that we've got our tennis balls soaked in gasoline, there's only one more thing to do. And let's have some fun. Well, you wanted bouncing flaming fireballs, and you got them. These things were a blast to play with, and they look so cool on the high speed. Now you're probably wondering what's happening to all these flaming tennis balls rolling across the yard, and how to put them out. Well, kicking them around is not the best way to put them out. Instead, you should get a smaller bucket and hold it over to smother the fire. Or you can just use your gloves. It's this easy. Alright, now we're going to hit this tennis ball with the tennis racket. This was also a bunch of fun. Interestingly, hitting the tennis ball with the racket usually had enough force to put out the fire. I said usually, I did have a bunch of flaming fireballs running across the yard. So in last week's video, I hit the screen and the water was blasted off of it. So the user Wacky Maniac had a question. He wants to know what happens if we hit the screen from two different sides. Will the shockwaves cancel each other out, or will it make a bigger wave? So we're going to try that and find out. Setting this up was easy, just spraying the screen with a hose. You can see how the water fills all the little holes in the screen. Now it took us a couple tries to hit the screen at the same time, but once we got close we started to notice something. The waves did seem to interfere with each other. and. By now it's evident that I think that the waves do cancel each other out. I'll play it again in slow motion. Look above my hand. You can see that that little area is unaffected by hitting the screen. Let me play it one more time. Well, all this stuff about waves canceling each other out got me thinking about my fire experiment from last week. I poured a thin strip of acetone on the floor and I lit it on fire. A fire wave traveled across the floor. So in this experiment, I sprayed two separate strips on the floor, and I lit them at the same time. And we'll see if the fire will cancel each other out. So it turns out to be pretty interesting. When the two flame fronts collide, it looks almost like a balloon or a bubble's popping. It's pretty cool to see how it races across the floor and bends and folds against each other. Alright guys, that's it for this week's Slow Motion Saturday. If you can leave me an idea down in the video description, you can be in the next week's Slow Motion video. If you want to watch another video, you can try this one, Underwater Explosions, or this one, Molten Aluminum vs. Watermelon. If you haven't subscribed already, the button's up there. Also, go ahead and check me out on Facebook. I left the link down in the video description. Well, that's it for this week. See you guys next time. Bye.